एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम रीति एंड आई एम बैक विद द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी वुड बी डिगिंग डीप इनटू इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो बिफोर इवन स्टार्टिंग विद ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लेट्स जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फ्रॉम अ रियल लाइफ एग्जाम्पल नो कंसिडर डेट यू आर वेरी हंगरी सो यू वॉन्ट सम टेस्टी डिलीशियस फूड सो वॉट यू डू इज यू गो टू अ रेस्टोरेंट नाउ इन द रेस्टोरेंट यू गो टू द रेस्टोरेंट मैनेजर यू आज द मैनेजर फॉर द टेबल once the manager provides you the table you call the waiter and provide the order details maybe you can also provide some additional requirements consider if you want some salt if you want some onions to the same waiter then the waiter take all the order details and provide all the details to the chef who will be preparing the food chef prepares the food and once the food is prepared chef again calls the waiter to provide the prepared food and then the waiter provide the prepared food to you so basically customer calls the waiter provide all the order details to the waiter then waiter take all the order details and go to the chef chef process or you can say prepare the food and once the food is prepared chef provide the same prepared food to the waiter and then waiter deliver the same food to the customer now here you can see that waiter is kind of acting as a communication between the customer and the chef so basically waiter here is acting as a interface between the customer and the chef so we can say that waiter here is acting as a operating system because it is helping in all the communication it is helping to manage all the processes effectively efficiently and it's providing the convenience to the customer now here the chef is preparing or processing the food so we can say that chef here is acting as a processor or we can say that chef here is acting as a cpu that is central processing unit now customer here is providing all the request all the task so here we can say that customer is acting as a user so we can say that whenever the user wants to interact with the cpu or the hardware component it uses operating systems to have a better communication to have a better convenience now why can't the user directly interact with the hardware why can't the customer directly interact with the chef because it's not the job of the customer to provide the details to the chef it's the job of the waiter so we can say that whenever the user wants to interact with the chef or wants to provide some details to the chef it will call the waiter and provide the same details to the waiter so we can say that the customer here is acting as a user the waiter here is acting as a operating system and that the chef is acting as a cpu so here customer orders for the food in the same way user request for a task now here waiter takes the order in the same way operating system acts as an intermediary between the user and the hardware now here waiter delivers the order to the kitchen in the same way operating system sends the request for the processing now chef prepares the food in the same way cpu executes the task now waiter serves the food to the customer in the same way operating system return the processed output based on some input received from the customer now waiter manages multiple customer efficiently in the same way operating system handles multitasking and resource allocation so the waiter acts as a middleman between the customer and the kitchen or you can say chef ensuring the smooth communication and the efficient service so operating system is like the waiter of a restaurant that ensures that everything runs smoothly between the customer chefs and the manager so operating system make sure that everything runs smoothly operating system acts as an intermediary between the user and the hardware to carry out all the processes efficiently so what is an operating system an operating system is the fundamental software that manages hardware and the software resources on a computer so whenever someone wants to manage all the hardware and the software resources they use the operating system now it acts as an intermediary between the user and the computer hardware ensuring that all the application runs smoothly that resources like cpu memory and storage are allocated efficiently so operating system acts as an intermediary between the user and the hardware it makes sure that all the applications are running smoothly all the resources are getting allocated properly and much more things now it provides an environment where application can runs and user can interact with the computer so it basically provides an environment where all the application can run and user can interact with the application so consider that if you want to open whatsapp on your laptop so you go and click on that whatsapp icon whatsapp icon opens and then if you want to send some messages to a person you go to their chat and click on the send button so operating system make sure that all the things is happening smoothly in the backend now what are the examples of operating system so the first example is windows the second example is android the third example is ios the fourth example is linux 
The fifth example is Mac OS or Macintosh. So these are some of the quite popular operating system and these are some of the most used operating system. Windows we often use in our laptops, Android in phones, iOS basically in phones, Linux in laptops, Mac OS in laptops. Now scenario where operating system is used. So whenever a user clicks on a save button in a word processor. So consider that there is an application of word processor and whenever user clicks on the save button on the application in the word processor, the application issues a system call to the operating system to write the data to the hard drive. So basically if a user wants to save a document, it goes to the operating system, it opens the Microsoft processor, in that Microsoft processor there is a save command, it clicks on that save command. But the operating system also needs to let we have to save that particular document. So whenever user clicks on this save command, what it does is the application program sends a system call to the operating system telling the operating system that this is the file which we want to save. So basically user interacts with the application and the system programs and then system programs or application programs give a system call to the operating system telling the operating system that this is the task which needs to be executed and then operating system talks to the hardware to save that particular document in the disk. Here you can see that there are two diagrams, diagram 1 and diagram 2. In the diagram 1, the user is interacting with the system and application program such as text editor and web browser and the system and application program is directly interacting with the hardware. In the second image, the user is interacting with the system and application program, basically the text editor and web browser. Now the system and application programs are interacting with the operating system and then operating system is managing all the communication with the hardware. So in this diagram, there is no operating system and in this particular diagram, we have an operating system. So if the system or application programs want to communicate with hardware, they need to write the code. So consider if I have to save a document in the text editor. So I have to manually write a code so that hardware can understand that I have to save a file which is written in my text editor. But here since there is an operating system, I can just only click on the save button and it will generate a system call to the operating system and then operating system will make sure of writing that particular document to our disk. You can see that the users must control the hardware manually. So user need to provide some programming or some coding to give that particular instruction to the hardware. Now only dedicated programs can run, there would be no multitasking. As considered that this particular user is requesting for saving a document, but this user is requesting to open the Microsoft player or want to watch some movie. But since this user is occupying all the hardware resources, there will be no multitasking which will be happening. Now for any small task, user needs to interact to the hardware directly using coding like loading, saving, etc. So whenever we want to load, whenever we want to save our document, we have to write some coding. Now it can also lead to improper resource and memory utilization as you have to tell hardware explicitly to allocate memory. So we have to tell the hardware explicitly that this particular task should have this particular memory in the RAM, this particular task should have this particular memory in the RAM. So this is very inefficient. Now once we have the operating system, it provides a graphical user interface to interact with the application and files easily. So the interaction with the application and files is very easy because it provides a graphical user interface. Now it allows running multiple application. So a user can run multiple application at the same time because it provides the multitasking. Now it manages CPU, memory and storage to optimize performance. So all the management of CPU, resource allocation, memory allocation is done via the operating system. The user does and needs to take care of giving instructions to the hardware to manage that particular resource efficiently. Now here you can see that we talked a lot about system and application program. So what is the major difference between the system and application programs? So system software help to manage and operate the computer hardware so that other software can function. So it helps to manage and operate the computer hardware so that other software can function. So we can say that operating system is a part of system software because it is helping to manage the computer hardware. Now the examples are compiler which converts the high level code to the machine language, operating system as I told optimization. Now coming to application software, so it is designed to perform specific tasks for user. It runs on the top of system software and interacts with it to carry out its function. So we can say that if we have a system software, it directly interacts with the hardware. But if we have an application software, it runs on the top of system software and system software do the communication with the hardware. So we can say that system software provides an environment on which the application software can run. Now here the example is word processor, you can also say WhatsApp, Telegram, Slack, Microsoft Teams, there are various applications which we install in our 
computer system. Now, system software is essential for the computer to function while application software provides tool for specific task. So, system software is very much needed and essential for the computer to function because uh, you need to have an operating system for the computer to function. If you are not having operating system, if you are not having compiler, how will you run your code? Now, coming to system software typically comes pre-installed with the computer. You might have seen that you already have Windows installed, you already have Mac OS installed, in your phones you already have Android installed or iOS installed. While application software is usually installed separately. So, whenever you get a new phone, you install WhatsApp, you install Telegram, you install X, you install Instagram. So, a lot of things you need to install it manually. Now, what is the relationship between a computer hardware components, its operating system and the application packages? So, here you can see that there are multiple users. Now, this particular users want to execute some task. So, what user will do? User will interact with the web apps or the browser. So, basically the system and application programs. So, consider user 1 wants to do some saving of a document. User 2 wants to do some searching in the web browser. So, here there is a text editor, there is a web browser. Now, the application request for some hardware resource to the operating system. So, all of them need some hardware resources so that they can perform the task efficiently. So, application programs or system programs goes to the operating system and says, hey, I want to do some task, please provide me some hardware resources. Now, the operating system interacts with multiple hardware devices for resource allocation. Now, operating system interacts with multiple hardware devices like CPU, memory and input output devices. Consider that you want to do some input output tasks. So, it will have the communication with input output devices. Consider that you want to do some task which is very processing heavy. So, it will interact with the CPU. Consider you want to perform some task and you want to save some data. It will uh, interact with the memory and the storage devices. Now, let us understand operating system from an example of saving a document. So, let us understand it how operating system helps in doing a certain task. So, first one is user interaction. So, the user interacts with the application, consider text editor and request to save the document. Now, the user is accessing the text editor, basically the system and application program. So, it interacts with the text editor and clicks on the save button here. So, user interacts with the system and application program. Now, application to operating system interaction. So, the application sends a system call to the operating system to request writing the document to the storage device. Now, this application program asks the operating system or generates a system call to the operating system saying that this particular document I want to save in my disk. Now, OS to hardware interaction. So, the operating system communicates with the hardware through the file system and the storage device drivers to physically write the data to the storage medium. Now, operating system goes to the hardware and say that this particular file I want to save in the disk. Now, hardware performs the actual writing of data to the disk. Now, hardware takes that particular document and uh, save that particular document in the disk. So, this is how the user application programs hardware interaction happens. So, this was all about this video. If I have to summarize this video in one go, there is a user who wants to execute some task. Now, user can't directly go to the hardware and provide the instruction because user needs to provide it via coding or programming and writing code for each and every call like saving the document, printing the document is very tedious. So, user goes to the operating system and operating system does the communication to the hardware. Now, consider that user wants to save a document. So, it will open the laptop or personal computer, then it will go to the text editor which is basically the application program and then in the text editor it will write the content, then it will hit the save button. Once it hits the save button, it will generate a system call telling the operating system that this is the particular document you have to save. Post that it communicates with the hardware and says the hardware that this is the document I want to save. Now, hardware looks out for all the resources which is present, memory which is present and then does the saving of the document. So, this was all about this video. I hope you like this video. So, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you are someone who is new to my channel, can go ahead and watch out the tech content first and if you find it useful, can go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you have not followed me on my social media handles, you can go ahead and follow. The links are in the description. Till then, take care. Keep learning, keep growing, keep smiling. Bye all.